Hi everyone. How are you? My name is Bobby King. I am from Middle East. Welcome back on my YouTube channel. I hope you are fine there. God give you more happiness for you all. You live always happy there. Your one stop destination for all things related to the Rocky Dinar. As you know in my videos, I try my level best to give you the most recent update of Rocky Dinar. Please don't forget hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Watch complete video for support this channel and share friend and family also. Let's start to the latest update about the Iraqi dinar. In a recent address, Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia Al Sadani emphasized the country's significant strides toward economic revitalization and national stability. His statements underscored the progress Iraq is making in its journey towards recovery, highlighting key initiatives and reforms that are reshaping the nation's future. This article delves into the PM's vision for Iraq, examining his key statements and the broader implications for the country's development. Establishing the Development Road Project Prime Minister Al Sadani's assertion that we have started establishing and implementing the Development Road Project, which will transform Iraq into an open country, reflects a bold ambition to reshape Iraq's economic landscape. The Development Road Project is a cornerstone of Al Sadani's economic strategy aiming to revitalize the country's infrastructure and create new avenues for investment and trade. The project, which involves the construction of a major transport corridor linking Iraq with neighboring countries, is designed to enhance Iraq's connectivity and stimulate economic growth. By improving transportation networks and facilitating easier access to regional markets, the Development Road Project is expected to attract significant foreign investment and boost Iraq's role in regional trade. The vision behind the project is not merely infrastructural but also economic. By positioning Iraq as a central hub in regional logistics and trade, the initiative aims to unlock new opportunities for the Iraqi economy and integrate the country more fully into the global market. Attracting foreign investment Al Sadani's comment that many capitals want to invest in Iraq. Iraq is witnessing recovery and stability and everyone needs his return highlights the growing confidence of international investors in Iraq's economic prospects. The PM's statement points to a significant shift in Iraq's investment climate, driven by recent reforms and improvements in security. Foreign investment is a crucial element of Iraq's recovery strategy. By attracting capital from global investors, Iraq aims to diversify its economy, reduce its reliance on oil revenue, and create new job opportunities for its citizens. The PM's acknowledgement of the desire of international capitals to invest in Iraq signals a positive trend in the country's economic outlook. This growing interest from foreign investors is a testament to the progress Iraq has made in stabilizing its political and economic environment. The reforms and developments underway are contributing to a more favorable investment climate, which is essential for long-term economic growth and development. Reforms in the tax and banking systems One of the key areas of focus for the al Sadani administration has been the overhaul of Iraq's tax and banking systems. As the PM noted, we have made real reforms in the tax and banking system. These reforms are critical to improving Iraq's economic governance and enhancing the efficiency of its financial systems. The tax reform aims to create a more equitable and transparent tax system, reduce tax evasion, and increase revenue for the government. By modernizing tax regulations and improving enforcement mechanisms, the Iraqi government seeks to bolster its financial stability and ensure that resources are allocated effectively. In the banking sector, reforms are geared towards increasing transparency, improving regulatory oversight, and enhancing the efficiency of financial transactions. These changes are intended to strengthen Iraq's financial infrastructure, support economic growth, and build investor confidence. Enhancing security and development Al Sadani's assertion that there is no spot on Iraqi territory outside the control of our security forces reflects a significant achievement in improving national security. The comprehensive security measures in place are crucial for creating a stable environment conducive to economic development. The PM's emphasis on security underscores its importance in supporting the broader development agenda. A secure environment is essential for attracting investment, fostering economic growth, 
and implementing large-scale infrastructure projects. By ensuring that security forces maintain control across the country, the Iraqi government is laying the groundwork for sustained development. Additionally, the preparation of a comprehensive plan to secure the path of development demonstrates a proactive approach to managing potential challenges and risks associated with the country's growth. This plan is expected to address security concerns, support infrastructure development, and facilitate the smooth implementation of key projects. Iraq's progress and future prospects in his address, al Sadani confidently stated, Iraq today is on the right track. This statement encapsulates the PM's belief in the country's positive trajectory and the effectiveness of the ongoing reforms and initiatives. The progress made in various areas, ranging from infrastructure development to economic reforms and security improvements, reflects a comprehensive strategy to position Iraq as a dynamic and resilient economy. The Development Road Project, Foreign Investment, Tax and Banking Reforms, and Enhanced Security are all integral components of this strategy. Looking ahead, the continued implementation of these initiatives will be critical in achieving Iraq's long-term development goals. The government's commitment to reform and development, coupled with the growing interest from international investors, bodes well for Iraq's future. Prime Minister al Sadani's recent statements highlight the significant strides Iraq has made in its journey toward economic recovery and stability. The Development Road Project, reforms in the tax and banking systems, and improvements in national security are all crucial elements of Iraq's development strategy. By focusing on these key areas, the Iraqi government is working to transform the country into a more open and economically integrated nation. The progress achieved so far is a testament to the effectiveness of the ongoing reforms and the positive trajectory of Iraq's development. As Iraq continues to implement its development agenda, the government's efforts to attract foreign investment, enhance security, and modernize key sectors will play a vital role in shaping the country's future. With a clear vision and a commitment to reform, Iraq is indeed on the right path toward achieving its economic and developmental goals. To wrap things up, I'd like to ask my friends who are watching to stay positive and patient, as patience is the key to success. Please consider subscribing to my channel and supporting me. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching.